the week after, the 14th. Ooh, that's exciting. Finally, first time we're having an Arcadian. Nice. Anyway, definitely take it away, guys. Definitely something uh, to come out for that Arcadian. But in the meantime, there is... Uh, whoa, it's... False. Zero and to zero none. none. Jeez, yep. I just had a complete mental break. No, it's <laughs> zero to none is of course the infamous local Zelda main, um, and false. Very, very famous player. Wow. Uh, so not a lot to say about false. I don't think I've ever seen him play besides his Twitter clips, but I know he goes for some wild stuff. And I love that right now false's usage of the reflector, but I really, really want to see him mix it up soon. Um, you know, Phantom is technically a projectile, right? And it's big. So you're just going to see him, like, try to catch Zeroton on off guard with Wolf's auto deflected in the down beam. But then again, Zero... Uh, ooh, okay. Landing with the reflector that time once he saw that Zero Denon isn't mixing up his own timings. Okay. Missing, the, missing the down smash two frame, but getting the back on the jump read. Oh, and crossing up the shield with the dash attack and Zirudinon trying to get an up smash, but falls ready to low profile with the F-Tilt, and Zirudinon great beefy up beat. He didn't, yeah, he didn't have a jump, but that two frame down, oh, that down smash two frame, wow. Yeah, and okay. another up smash, he's trying to go and get an up air, but rather he can, tries to catch a landing with the Phantom unsuccessfully, though. What I really like about seeing false, despite him uh, getting, getting caught by the hole down there, is he's not just like dashing, straight dashing anywhere. It's a lot of short hops, it's a lot of empty hops, and it sets up for Wolf, it sets up to catch distance with Wolf really, really quickly. But yeah, uh, zero to nine. Took off that stock so early with the back hit. Zelda, okay, nobody talks about this enough. Zelda has frame six lightning kick, which will kill you at 60 percent. Has, it's nuts, that move, the entire move is nuts. You just gotta hit it, that's, yeah. the, that's the problem. That's what makes it uh, fair, I guess. Yeah. As fair a thing you can get in fighting games, but like... Yeah, let's have an inconsistent move who has really specific spacing that kills you for 60% despite it being technically non-committal since it's a frame 6 option. But, regardless... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, the burst just... coming out from both of these players with a spike on that two frame. Both these players know, know, their, uh, know their ledge grab timings pristinely. Oh, and we get a little bit of an extension off the shine. Um, and right now, it's like crazy like how much of an advantage Zirutinan had, but then uh, False did a great job of bringing it back, but I'm That's not sure what happened there. I, he fast fell neutral air dodge, aiming to land uh, on the ledge, not like ledge grab, but in front of it, and he fell uh, a little bit too far to the right. Oh yeah. no, he didn't. He pulled out laser maybe? I didn't, yeah. see, I didn't see the air dodge come out. So, come out. he reflected. Yeah. He, yep, he pulled out laser. Not sure what the thought was behind it. I think, it, I think it's still the same theory. He's trying to land on stage and shoot laser, but he missed uh, the stage. Yep. So, But instead of neutral air dodge, it was laser. Mm -hmm. Rip. Well, anyhow, going into game two right now, I mean, like, Zerudna was picking off a lot of these stocks earlier, so if, like, once Falls can, like, catch on, I don't want to call them gimmicks, but, like, just a lot of, like, the special stuff that Zelda can do, uh, I feel like we'll be seeing a little bit more out of this game. A lot of damage coming out from these sweet spots. He's playing at such a pristine spacing and jumping right in front of Zelda, knowing, knowing that she doesn't have the airspeed to keep up with Wolf's just immaculate short hop and, and uh, jump heights. Ooh, and right now there's a great read on the fact that he's gonna land aggressively with the parry, but unfortunately not able to convert off of it with the landing back here, I believe. Uh, just like doing a lot of damage and knocking false, effectively resetting neutral. These wavelands are really clean, by the way. Like, they're just crisp. Like, it, there's so much movement going on from false's end that, that okay, just as I compliment you, false, come on. <laughs> Uh, but look at that, look at that wall jump! That was so nice! <laughs> like, I thought that was gonna be the ledge regrab grab and that would be it. That'd be it for the stock. But um, he was like so patient with it. That was fantastic. Um, right now, Zeratinon just throwing out stuff, just like seeing how. Huh. Yeah, thanks to the big stage, Phantom could cover a whole lot more ground than he could on PS2. Yep. Right now, Zeratinon trying to get something started with the Phantom, but False not afraid to just jump in and tomahawk him for it. Um, Wolf, and Wolf Tomahawk game is so good. Mm -hmm. um, but I believe that was the back throw. Yeah. Yep, more than enough to take out Zelda. I believe she was at 156 percent. <gasps> Getting the shine oh. combo extensions. That was almost a little bit saucy if he landed that forward. Oh, uh, he got the sour spot. Good DI mm -hmm. coming from Pulse. And just a laser to interrupt the Phantom so that he he, uh, he doesn't he avoids the lead trapping. And the weak hit of weak hit of Nair gets the gets the grab and the momentum doesn't stop. 
Uh, hey, who's even not got the lead, but I think he air dodged back? Yeah, he short hop air dodged through in order to get in order to get behind, knowing he'd have enough time because she committed uh Zelda was F smashing. Yeah. And Zelda of course the flame six back out of shield. That was oh well flame nine rather with the shield drop and everything, but still incredibly fast, more than enough to punish Aptil, but right now falls taking it and now Zeruda has at quite the disadvantage. And Wolf is definitely one of those characters that can fold the stock really well, but once again, guys, do not DI in on Zelda downfield because that will true confirm it too. What if the aerials, but that Zelda not... just disappeared. Like, yeah, and it like started with that downfield. Yeah. So that downfield into another lightning kick into that side beat. Yeah. Once again, guys, you have to DI out on Zelda's downfield. So important. There's a couple of well coming in, and up till into the up air for another burst of percent. And suddenly, this is Zero Denon's game in his control. And yeah, the fact that Zero Denon. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, huh. I, like, see, the Din's fire on the side there is a 50 50, whether or not. Like, I He's going to air dodge. Or... Yeah, it's pretty much based on air dodge, but that air dodge can make it like a bit harder than a 50 50 because yep. you have the multi directional air dodge. However, I don't I don't know if that was a read or just a hard call out, yep. but he just sniped him out of the air right on his position mm -hmm. because he saw that uh, False was not going for his air dodge off stage because of Wolf's like ridiculously fast fall yep. speed. He would just wait for the he wait for the inevitable fast fall that was coming down so he could set up the spacing for the wolf flash and call him right out and yep. 